Pray that I have been selected in the inter school 100 meter race. Wow, that's great. Practice hard. Good morning, my dear contest chair and all my dear friends. As for my dad's suggestion, I started practicing day and night, even in my dreams. Every day I practice hard and tell to me, yes, I will win. On the D-Day, when I was about to leave my home, at that moment, from nowhere, a demon-faced person came in front of me and said, Stop! Where are you going? Competition! <laughs> Don't you know, there might be a lot of superior athletes will be competing alongside? You will lose, definitely. With utter confusion, I asked, Who are you? I am your well-wisher. A third world war began between my body and my mind. My body was ready to participate, but my mind was totally convinced with the logic of that well-wisher. Finally, my mind won, which prompted me to back out from the event at the last moment. Such was the irony, the guy who won the 100 meter race took 5 seconds more than my normal timing, which engulfed my mind into depression. But life moves on, and in that way, I stepped on, on a new destination named Engineering College. In the college, something dramatic happened. Yes. I fell in love with our class topper from the bottom, Ria. It was Valentine's Day and my romantic mind pushed me to propose her. When everything was ready, again that well-wisher appeared and said, Stop! Are you mad? If Ria let down you, then you will lose her friendship as well as your good boy image in the college. Those words created a huge confusion in my mind. And ultimately, I couldn't say anything to Rhea. The shock of that incident badly affected on my studies. And that year, my final exam marks reached from 73% to 37 percent. That day, with heavy heart, I broke down in front of my dad and told him about that well-wisher. My dad put his arm on my shoulder and said, Son, the brave guy inside you is sleeping. Wake him up. Remember, that well-wisher is none other than your self-doubt, which is driving your life towards the devastation. So arise, awake, and strengthen your mind and move forward. Those words shook my mind. After a few days in a college function, I listened to a speech of Swami Vivekananda, where he said, Believe in the infinite power that is within you. Conquer yourself and the entire world is yours. Those electrified words further stimulated my mind. And that night, I shouted at me and said, Yes, I will have to move forward by decimating my self-doubt. Slowly, a brave Arnav awoke within me. I concentrated harder on my studies and confirmed my participation at the talent hunt contest in the college. That night, when I was busy in studying, again that well-wisher, Mr. Doubt, appeared. But this time, my doubtless mind roared like a lion and said, Stop! Listen, I am the driver of my own life vehicle. Now you just get out of my sight. 
my ferocious attack made him vanished. I did well at the talent hunt contest and later made Rhea my life partner. It was 17 December 2017 when I gave my first speech in Toastmasters. As I was about to be on the stage, again shamelessly Mr. Doubt appeared. This time I just signaled him. He vanished immediately. I moved forward and gave a wonderful speech. My dear friends, have any of your activity in life ever been paralyzed by your self-doubt? The answer might be a strong yes, because I know in everyone's mind this monster exists. Every time when you are about to start any work, it comes and question your capabilities, which ultimately stop you to move forward. But friends, the only way to overcome it is to foster friendship with courage and confidence, which can effectively eliminate your self-doubt from your mind. So my dear friends, next time when your self-doubt will try to create a hindrance between you and your any endeavor, just say stop and throw it away from your way and move forward. In that way, I am also moving forward in my life. What about you? God's share.